Welcome to RimWorld, where just as your volcanic winter ends, the heat wave begins. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, luckily enough, I have put down a couple of extra coolers. I actually did that last episode to help uh, sort of balance the heat out because it wasn't quite a hot summer anyway. Um, we're now looking at 26 degrees. Not only that, we're, of course, venting a corpse freezer and a regular freezer into the uh, hallways. Great in the winter. Great for volcanic winter especially, which, of course, we were putting up with for ages too because it helps keep the average temperature up there. Not so good when you've got a goddamn heat wave kicking around. So, let's also get this one turned on, but luckily we've got enough of these goddamn things to not have to worry about it too much. I did turn up the target temperature, though, because they were getting, uh, they still weren't quite warm enough, you know? Um, it shouldn't take too long to just quickly readjust these. I'm just gonna hit the reset button on all of them. Fuck it, take about down to 21, my man. Right, there we go, and then let's just quickly hit those as well. Alright, we should be good then for a while. Okay, let's see if that's enough. I, I pray that it is, because basically all this, you know, if we look at the vents here, this entire base is is connected up. Obviously, it doesn't connect to us to the main prison, because honestly, fuck them. But now I think about it, in the future, we're going to need a central air conditioning for this whole area as well, aren't we? Oh, God. Um, oh, wait, stall doors don't allow heat transfer, do they? Or, or specifically, they, d they don't trap heat in, which was exactly the issue we had actually last time with this freezer, wasn't it? So what we can do with this is, is quite simply just build a shit ton of, like, coolers into this external courtyard area. And then have the entire prison just vent into that. In fact, we've got stall doors there. We might actually want to remove those. Or maybe roof over this and just have it as a big rec yard, sort of like a fake indoors recreation rather than sun lamps or something. Otherwise, it's just going to vent the heat straight out. Anyway, we'll cross that hurdle when we get there. More importantly, last episode, we managed to catch, capture some people and start populating our prison. Blackthorn is already there, and then we've got two other prisoners as well in our regular prison. Now, speaking of which, which one did we want to recruit? What are we doing to that guy? I don't know what we were doing to him, but that's not. Um, so, this guy here, Marcus Rabbi Rebending, we want to actually recruit. Good mining, good plants, good cooking. All around a fairly decent guy. So... Stark, you're going to be transferred over to the main ward. Let's tick that. Oh, can I not tick that off of prisoners? If we do that, and then can we can we capture him and move him over? That sucks. Um, no, don't 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 do that. Okay, what we'll do then is we'll flip that over to prisoners or, or regular room temporarily. Then we'll set Joe up to come and capture him, and that should move him over into the actual main prison ring. And then we'll just put it back to being prison beds, if that makes sense. Oh okay, yeah, problem solved. And then we'll just do that one, and then excuse me. Scorpion prisoner, Rabby. No, 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 no. Put Rabby back where you found him. Also help me. Right. Try to arrest Rabby. God, God. Why did you do that? The room was a prison, you madman. I don't want to interrupt Alucard's breakfast, but my God, that's annoying. Uh, have we got anyone else nearby that can help? Piccula, Piccula, Piccula. Feeding on Don Trumpian. You're, you're feeding on a man who's hospitalized right now. Let's just let that sink in. Get through here and uh, don't, don't punch him. Like, actually, we want to punch him. We don't want to, like, kill him. He's feral claws. I feel like that's a bad idea now that I think about it. Let's regenerate those away. Don't shoot him, don't shoot him, don't shoot him. Just punch. No, just punch, my man. Okay. Rabbi has to come on board because he's so good. Please don't kill. <laughs> I'm so worried about... Oh, God, we actually did shoot him. God damn it. Come on. Just knock him down. Don't kill. We're only punching him right now. There we go. We're good. Okay, so you capture because you're obviously a hideous, hideous vampire there. And we should be a lot better with that one. We're going to have to immediately start patching up this guy. All because we wanted to move someone over to the main prison. This room in the future we'll get rid of. Uh, we could use that as like a guest room because we are still running Orion's hospitality mod. So if people turn up, they could live in this one and uh, come and visit the prison for like inspections or family visits or, or whatever garbage we've got going on there. Right, so let's quickly tend to Rabby. No, I didn't say do that at all. I didn't say do that at all. Why did... Just going to feed on his blood. Oh, and then we're going to... Are we going to now tend to him? Did I accidentally click feed? I mean, that's the opposite of what we wanted there, but it's fine nonetheless. So, heat wave, we are, we are good, yeah. If we look at the ambient temperature, sort of hovering around 21, 23, I think is our maximum. 25 in this room. It's fine. It's, it's honestly nothing to worry about. The, the, the actual stop bar there, apparently unroofed. Oh, my God. How long has that been unroofed for? Uh, it's not deteriorating, though. I guess it would only be things under that roof tile, so this thing. There we go. Um, sure, we'll put down just a single bone block there to help hold that up. So, speaking of bone block, last episode we managed to, obviously, take out that whole sniper squad, turn up two SVDs. This guy had a, an M4 or whatever the hell is, M24. So, I'm thinking, let's pull the kill box right the way back so that we have a range of advantage. That way, if we have people turning up with, with pistols, shotguns, melee characters, and spe uh, like, like, specifically, they're going to get just destroyed by these shotguns before they can even get close to to us before they can even get range to fire back so i'm thinking what we do is pull the whole kill box to like here um bear with me on this one let's put it like uh so it's gonna be here let's build this wall out let's just put it there so that we still have access to the prison this is gonna be our new kill box we'll move the embrasure down to like i don't know we'll, we'll put it like here for now or something like that it doesn't have to be that particularly large um and then what we can do is actually have a hospital 
maybe attached directly to the kill box so we can carry people over and then it will also count as a prison hospital as well because we can connect up to the main wing here. I think that's probably not such a bad plan and then obviously have like an ingest system here or even move them over through the main prison doors as well. So we will build a sort of, uh, like I was saying, like a hospital room. Uh, how do we want to do that? Do something like, uh, do something like that, huh? We obviously want to give them room to walk through as well. If we do that, we're not going to waste any space either. There we go. Awesome. Oh, God, I'm building out of embrasures, you fool. Right, let's try that again. Round two. So we want to do something a little bit like that. And then we'll have a hospital sort of along this side. And uh, try and make it all look nice and parallel. The ammo kind of getting a bit inconvenient there, I will admit. We do want to move that one later on. We could also expand that into hospital. Maybe we could just use that for, like, medicine storage and, and turn it into a freezer. This could also be our corpse freezer. Like our... What's the word for corpse freezer? Um... We don't generally call them corpse freezers in a, in, a, in a medical center. Morgue. That's it. A mortuary. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, we'll, we'll put that... This can be our, our morgue and we can keep all the prisoner corpses on ice. Because I imagine there'll be like prison fights, prison breakouts, failed riots, that type of thing. We can get a lot of corpses from it. Well, that's what we can do with this room. And then we'll move the actual ammo stockpile to somewhere a little more convenient. And maybe not somewhere so easy for the prisoners to get access to. Let's start working on this immediately. Because I think that'll give us a nice defensive bonus. And we'll move our sort of main embrasure line up to there as well. We'll remove this. When all of this is built, I do want to uh, still keep a working kill box. That's still the top of our priority. We should have plenty of bones at this stage, well, because obviously we've been hunting for friggin' ages to deal with this, uh, to deal with the volcanic winter. Yeah, we have just an absurd amount of bones. We have enough bones to build Jilpa's Bone Throne. I kind of want to start work on Jilpa's Castle, but obviously the prison comes first, seeing that the, the, the series is called, you know, Vampire Prison, not Jilpa's Fancy Castle, Jilpa's Jilp's Wonder Castle. I love that they are moving around the prison freely as well. That's very cool. Okay. What do we need to do then, squad? Well, I think first things first. Um, we want to say prisoners are allowed to... Well, obviously, forced to work is default. We want to go to their tabs. And then we want to say... Um, cook. Who's our best prisoner cook? That guy. They want to be able to grow... Oh, they can't harvest? Really? Well, that's garbage. Um, if they can't harvest, what the hell is the point of having a prison? What's the point of having a prison farm? I suppose we could just set someone else to come in and one of the wardens come in and harvest the crop and just drag it or, or, or leave it on the floor. And then they can, they, they are capable of fall. Oh, are these guys just not capable of stuff? Hang on, uh, take a look here. Not incapable of dumb labor. Oh, for the love of God. And that's both of them, is it? Um, yeah, both are incapable of dumb labor. You are the worst prisoner. These are our two prisoners and they're both complete garbage. Incredible, 10 out of 10. Is Don Trebian okay? He's still in like a, what is it, catatonic breakdown I think we have with this guy? Yeah, he's fine. Yeah, he's, he's going to be absolutely fine. When he wakes up, his mood is going to be set. You know, a couple of days lie down, never hurt anyone. Ah, oh, nice. And our crops are in as well. So these lentils I've briefly talked about before, they are essentially a meat replacement. So it's very, very good if you don't want to micromanage so much hunting. Obviously, for us, it doesn't really matter too much. I've been doing it anyway. But uh, you use a lot more lentils, obviously, relative to what you would do meat. So one lentil does not equal one meat. It, it takes a, a lot more. So we'll get that harvested and obviously uh, hauled into the freezer as soon as possible. Because it turns out we've literally just run out of food as well. Go juice. Wait, what? We have no storage space for go juice. Why? Oh, cause it, does it count as a food? Or, or like, uh, we're, not allowing, we're not allowing... Drugs are allowed. Uh, you've, you've pulled one on me, my friend. Oh, does it count as rotten, maybe? Counts as fresh? Oh, it counts as fresh. Okay, that's very strange. Anyway, we'll, we'll bring it over. We've also got a mortar, don't forget now. So I have been told over Discord uh, yesterday by Alchemia that apparently the turrets in this mod pack are bugged. So it's a real shame that we spent so much time, and I believe we're actually still, even now, are we not researching, oh, we're not researching turrets right now, I don't remember what we're researching right now, um, fabrication, apparently, but uh, apparently the turrets might be pointless, not that it matters too much, because what the fuck is going on with these animals, oh, they're all leaving the map because it's too hot, well, thank god we got that done, wait, are they, what are they doing, just sort of running around here, that's really strange, what is, what is that thing, oh, it's a bunch of geese, <gasps> tasty geese, so, it's a pretty good job we got those lentils in. But yeah, like I was saying, the, the turrets might end up being useless. Luckily, we've got good guns and, and people who have a decent shooting skill. I've actually arranged them by their shooting skill here so that it was easier to dish out their weapons. We've got decent weapons too. Might be better then, instead of ever researching turrets ever again, going straight for gun production because that's going to be a lot more relevant. That actually might be something we can fight our enemies with rather than what we're doing right now. Man, Joe, you are you are a super fast man. It was, it was also confirmed by someone else who's tested it. That the, the bug that causes the slowdown, especially with building, like, roofs, as we saw before with Jilp. Um, in fact, we'll probably see it in a second. That's actually a bug caused by, if we take a look at their abilities here, the uh, flight ability. So, passive moves carrying capacity reduces weight, allowing for flight. 
This one is the one that causes a lot of issues with frame rate and slowdown, especially. So it's like a like a sort of um, speculate that it was their move route. So that's basically been confirmed by someone from some testing. So just as a just as a point here for those of you also planning on this pack. Oh man, we can go for another point in that. Um, if you are playing as Gargoyle, maybe avoid that one, or just maybe straight up don't play Gargoyle because obviously means you're missing out on a whole tech tree there. Now, it's also been pointed out to me that Jolt's fortitude is so high at this stage that anything besides super, super major stuff, he won't, that won't affect him. Because he's now strong enough a ridiculous amount, assuming they stack, a ridiculous amount of damage. So short of like literally being shot in the head or having his arms ripped off, this boy is not going to get injured by anything. So I guess the whole uh, melee attack worked pretty well. What is this? we got a marriage. Edward Collin proposed a lifelong commitment to Alucard. Edward Collin gets me every single time. So this was a patron name suggested in the Patreon Discord group, but it was obviously a misbutton of Edward Cullen, which is apparently the vampire boy from Twilight. It's just so, it's so great. He sounds like, like I've said before, farmer rather than a sparkly vampire. It's fucking incredible. Uh, congrats, Edward Cullen. Congrats on your marriage, Edward Cullen and Alucard of all people. So we've got another corpse there. Like I said, we can move that down to a morgue. That way our colonists also aren't going to stumble on it. That we could also expand our freezer as well. That's probably not a bad idea. Or maybe actually set them up like a more central rec room and move this all over. Either way, I'm spitballing at this stage. Heatwave's already over and it actually didn't bother us once. Why are we not getting anything built? We've got loads of stuff being laid down, but actually nothing is being constructed. Why? Um, because Jilp set to number four construction and, and we don't actually have another builder. I thought Mal was a builder. Uh, where's Mal? Oh my god, Mal sacrificed himself. Let me think of where the hell's Mal. Yeah, no, there's Mal uh, actually in this goddamn coffin. So Job is the final surviving of our original guys. That's why nothing is being goddamn built. I forgot that we set Mal to be... We were trying to train him up to be our daytime builder. I mean, it was working right up until the point where his head was actually blown off from 50 foot away by a sniper. Um, okay, well, that doesn't matter too much then. We'll just get this stuff built. We'll, I mean, we'll just have to get Job back on it. I did want to specifically keep, keep all of Job's time for research because we've got so much research to do. Is that our boomalope? Oh, nice. That was another thing we did was, of course, set all those boomlets to be tamed. They've probably all fucked off the map at this point, huh? Um, although the heatwave's over, so they might hopefully come back, fingers crossed. Anyway, Jop is now going to be back to building, which does kind of suck. I suppose it will speed things up a little bit, but then again, it will also slow the game down because it's horribly, horribly bugged. Counter Tracker has gone berserk because of his Vitae withdrawal. So I haven't actually seen any comments yet about the Vitae addiction. Um, well, I've been trying to track it down myself, but still can't work out why it's not appearing. Uh, maybe we just need to... Maybe we just need to spread people out a little bit more. Don't shoot him with a sniper. Armor piercing sniper bullets from point blank. That's just absurd. Just you don't even need to. He's, he's peacefully gardening. Peacefully gardening. This is this is berserk as far as I'm concerned. Look at how crazy this man is. Can he not be stopped? Is that you motherfucker? You're just doing this for. You're doing this because you're bored. Get out of here. This guy's harming nobody. He's literally just harvesting his crops and now he's been shot. Stop. Let him go. Let him go. He's doing nothing. He's, nothing is going wrong with this. Go to bed. I'm so sorry that these absolute animals are taking pot shots at you for the fun of it. Is he alright? Yeah, he's been shot in the lung by an armor-piercing round. A high-caliber armor-piercing round. Unbelievable. You, that's incredibly... That's considered a dick move in all society, let alone just vampire society. Um, we need to get Picula, our resident doctor slash vampire, to go and maybe patch up that lung pretty freaking quickly. Good God. Hopefully he'll be all right. Hopefully he doesn't get, like, uh, an infection from that as well, because Don Trumpy is taking up the only bed there. Could kick him out and obviously put someone else there. Oh, hang on. What about these things? How do we build that? One of our components, 90 and... 30 plastic. They, these seem very good. Um, especially as they connect up. Do they connect up to multiple beds? Hang on. Uh, oh, let's be checking on the freaking hospital bed. Let's go to Misco, I would assume, and then Vital Center. Uh, let's take a look at that one. Medical Center for monitoring the vitals of several patients at once. Increase medical 10 quality surgery success chance and immunity gain speed. Those are all incredible. Um, I know it's for hospital beds. No beds will not benefit. So I guess it can connect up to any amount. Sort of like a workbench can connect up to... Oh, oh sorry. A tool cabinet connects up to multiple workbenches. It's kind of the equivalent, right? It's kind of just a workbench for um, hospital beds instead. I might actually want to build one of those very quickly. Uh, is it that much of a risk? We don't really have that many medical issues, do we? You detected a cluster of cargo... Oh, I didn't point out as well when the heat wave ended. Uh, that, that lasted almost no time at all there. You detected a cluster of cargo pods crashing nearby, perhaps you found something useful in the wreckage. The answer is no. It's, it's a bunch of plastic arrows. I mean, we could sell them for normally quite a decent price. Uh, Jilp, get to work. Start, start building a little Jilp. What's he, what's he doing right now? Feeding simple meal. Finished. Oh, because he's a doctor. Jilp, you're not a doctor. Let's, let's be reasonable here. You are a vampire overlord. Horrible, torturing monster. 
You should be building, my friend. All right, get ready for the... Oh, you know what? Slowdown seems pretty good right now. I have no idea why. But there we go. That's taking no time at all. So we are building rooms everywhere. A lot of you pointed out that obviously building rooms everywhere is not such a good idea because as we expand the base and as we want more farms, crops aren't going to grow, well aware. Uh, but it's going to prevent Jilp melting during the sunlight and any other vampires we get in the future. One suggestion I did see yesterday that, that I really think is a cool idea, I mean, besides this nonsense, is, uh, is trying to get a vampire of each bloodline and having those as sort of like the elite echelon, the, the upper tier are sort of aristocrats, if you want to look at it like that, who, you know, are keeping all these prisoners as basically cattle. That sounds like a really cool idea, and I really, really love that. So in the future, whenever we get like a vampire uh, as part of a raid or as part of a trade caravan, we should try and do everything we can to bring them... Oh, God, here it comes to slow down, huh? To try and bring them on board, to try and collect... It's, it's Pokemon, right? Except with horrible, bloodthirsty creatures of the night. Oh, my processor... Oh, God. This is like one frame a minute right now. What the hell is going on? Oh, God. <laughs> this is particularly bad, huh? Again, it's apparently caused by that tier one flight. So that, let this be a warning to any of you playing with a goddamn gargoyle vampire. Hey, like I said, don't play as a goddamn gargoyle vampire. It does not seem worth it. This is absurd. This is literally like one frame every 30 seconds. Uh, I'm going to pause. Right, is, we're going we're gonna to try and fix this here. Let's diagnose this team. We're going to be vampire... Please stop. Come on. There we go. Come on. We ready? That genuinely took about 30 seconds to pause that then. So one thing I want to do, and I kind of want to keep this in the video, because you could consider it treating in a way, because it allows for things like um, uh, cleaning up, you know, removing filth from the home area to allow the game to run a bit quicker, but obviously, you know, you're cleaning up your entire home area, so you wouldn't need cleaners if you were to do that every single time. I'm going to leave this in. So this this actually might help some of you also have similar other issues. We'll try and reclaim memory there. We'll also play on speed two, see if that helps. That does, that does not do a goddamn thing, huh? This is the cursed concrete floors of the vampire prison, which actually might be the name for this video. This is, this is unbelievable. So I thought I'd go into death mode and see if we could diagnose this issue here, because as you can tell, this is pretty freaking ridiculous. Let's see what it says in the dev vlog. Oh, nothing. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what the hell's going on here. Would anybody complain if I maybe transformed the job into another, another type of vampire? Because this is kind of absurd. And if we stop and building, like, case in point here, let's stop and building. Look, the, the lag's gone. Like, we can go straight up to speed four there and there's absolutely no complaint. Second we untick it, second he goes back to building, the game has to try and calculate what the hell he's doing. We just, everything goes horribly wrong. And it's, it's actually crashed on my screen. Oh, there we go. So I think, let's try and transform him here. Let's see what we can do. So what is he right now? He's a, he's a gargoyle, obviously. He's a fifth generation gargoyle. We want to kind of transfer him over to a fifth generation something else. I won't give him the points back. We'll say that's the price we're paying to turn him into a full-blown vampire here. Um, unless he stays level 30, well, obviously that would suck. What? How can we do that? Remove health. Uh, let's, let's, let me sort this out. Fortunately, there's a remove vampirism button, which is coming very handy here. So he's now back to being regular old job. But let's just unpause here. That is legitimately the problem. I mean, if that's not proof right there, I don't know what else is. Right, so then we'll actually give him back vampirism. So give vampirism with settings. So we want to turn him into, I honestly don't know. The first vampire, children of Cain. T t I don't know what any of these do. Um, let let's roll a dice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. By roll a dice, I mean Elise. I need a number between one and nine. Eight. Eight. Okay, thank you. A pidge, a pidjavica. Thank you. Uh, and then of course he was generation five. Okay. Jilp is now a vampire. No shit. What is a what is a, a pidge javica? Um, hunger allows the vampire. Oh, allows the vampire to consume blood from the nearby ground. We got up to thirty one one point available. So I assume we're basic. Can we like reset his level as well? Um. I don't believe so. Not that it matters too much. Again, I think he can level up past 31 anyway, so it's not a big deal. It's just going to take him longer to level up. So, we've got some weird... Ch oh, shit. He still has access to war form, though. Oh, that's fine, though. That, that wasn't a problem. So, we've got blood. Lads of vampires consume blood from the nearby ground. Purge. Force the target to vomit some of their blood on the ground. That's horrendous. We've got a blunt there. Yon Kyaku needs you. Stem the tide. Stops all blood loss on target. Sounds incredible. That's super good for capturing prisoners. And then finally, we've got unstoppable tide. Breaks off some of the caster's body to become a floating mass of VT that goes to consume the target's blood, skin and bone, and returns the result to caster. That's horrendous. I love it. This sounds incredible. Okay, I especially love this one, because that seems super perfect for taking prisoners. This almost seems like the perfect bloodline. Still have access to Warform, I assume that's just a generic vampire one in that case. We'll go for Batform to start off with, um, because that- oh shit, it's kept all his old powers, huh? Oh, and it's still not working. It may just be a vampire bug. 
all together. Honestly, don't know how to fix it. I, I think I'm going to have to start editing the save game and dive into that and see if we can't pull out all these traits and, and maybe get that working. Because even though he's flipped Bloodline here, he still has his abilities from being a gargoyle. So I assume then he's still got that passive flight ability, which is obviously causing the bug here. Uh, I did actually just genuinely try killing him and bring him back to life there, which is why his gun's on the floor. We'll worry about that later on. I guess for the time being, we'll just have to stop him building. Because it's got to the stage now where it will just crash the game. Which is pretty absurd that vampires can't crash. But I will try and work out a way to fix it as soon as possible. And I'll update you guys on that for those of you also playing this. Because it would really, really suck if you're in the same situation as me. And, and you know, we're all kind of doomed together in this one. So I will, try, I will, I will do this for you. I will, I will spend my time and effort to try and solve the mystery of the, the fucking broken vampires. Like hideously, just awful broken vampires. Good work, Jill. You know, you're incredible. And now he's apparently just permanently dead as well. Help wanted. A nearby settlement, Hol Holland, <laughs> contacts you with a special request. Their fields have yielded far more than originally expected. They could really use your help with the harvest. You're going to send our boys over there and train him for some uh, stroop waffles, huh? Okay, no, let's not worry about that. For now, like I said, unless we get that crazy, uh, supposedly crazy powerful intellectual gathering, we won't bother with that at all. And actually, we've got so many goddamn intellectuals, we could chuck at them now. Demonetize the scientists, apparently just spending all day, every day researching. Fine, I mean, to be honest with you. So we're getting fabrication. The second we got fabrication, I genuinely think think maybe, maybe power armor, unless power armor costs advanced components, at which point we'll go for advanced fabrication. I will look up the recipe before we decide on sort of the long-term play. As I said previously, oh god, Jopas released the inner beast. So this is when he runs out of blood, and I can only assume that's something to do with resurrecting him, huh? Now if we don't, if we're not careful with this, he's just gonna kill everyone. Let me think of how I'm gonna deal with this. Dance was apparently just waiting for his fury to come to an end. So there we go. Problem solved. Please leave demonetized. Ah, oh, or not. Or yes. Okay. I don't know whether that's something to do with the fact that he's technically just transformed into a vampire again. You can only assume that's the case. Demonetized, you going for a revenge. Stop, 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 stop. What is going on? Sometimes when they freak out like that, it's so strange. Well, I don't know why the hell they went for the melee attack that time around. It's like the other guy before. Just shooting him straight in the goddamn lung because he's peacefully growing his lentils. You, you, this, is a, this is psychopath colony. This isn't vampire colony. Everyone here is completely nuts. Count Chocolate, are you okay? You seem to be just like a permanent mental break risk. Uh, Vitae withdrawal. Understandable, really. I, again, I don't really know how to do this because I'm pretty sure that some of them we've actually spawned with Piccola as well. Uh, Piccola is also in bed. Oh, because he's an actual vampire. You cannot feed him Vitae. Hang on. Uh, no, no, no. We don't want to do that particularly. Uh, Count Chocula, come back here. Hey, hey, turn around. These ghouls actually kind of becoming a pain in my goddamn ass. Right, okay. Uh, give Vitae. There we go. How much, how much can we give him? Do we just, like, real stock him up for the future so that he stops being a little bitch? How much has he got right now? There you go. He's, he's basically full up. Let's see if that solves most of his issues. And I mean, it was minus... What the hell was that explosion? It was minus 38, so it should work fine. What was that? Oh, it's a thunderstorm. My god, I thought someone had genuinely just exploded then. That The, uh, the, the siren in combination with the big boom. So one thing we've got to do as well that I actually did kind of forget about right until the second when I realized it, we should probably be making uh, armor-piercing ammo. So the SVD we've already had before, and we've already set up the bullets for that, but the, uh, whatever the hell this thing is, the M24 uses heavy rifle ammo, which we've definitely never queued up. So let's make sure we've got that being produced as well. So what's that, the heavy, heavy rifle ammo. We want to make AP. Of course, we always want to make AP, I think. Uh, let's do until we've got X, and then just crank that up until we've got... No, 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 let's do X times, you fool. Do until we've got X, there we go. And quickly cramp that up to... What are we looking like? 500? Of course, drop on the floor, because then someone will just immediately move over to the armory anyway. All right, perfect. Problem solved. Let's move this thing over into the freezer, if you don't mind, because that's, uh, like, actually really good medicine. Ah, got my lentils! Well, we're all starving to death. The worst thing that could happen... Don't let your lentils be hit by lightning. That's, that's good advice this episode. The plus side, though, everyone's moon seems fairly high, and the guy who was in a catatonic coma apparently got an infection? I think someone must have bitten him in the leg. Did, did someone, like, vampire him, and then... Joe gabbed about turkeys with demonetized. I don't give a shit about that. Um, Piccola cleaned demonetized bite evidence. Piccola nor demonetized. Okay, that's what happened then. So Piccola bit him, and then I assumed to get blood from him, rather than just, you know, for fun and games. So just a prank, bro. Uh, apparently has now given him an infection. Nice. Thank you, Piccolo, you filthy vampire. Good. On the plus side, everyone's fine. Everyone's happy. Everyone's well-equipped. The base looks quite nice. 
We've dealt with some of our immediate issues here in terms of, like, you know, kill box and shit. Now what we should really do is, is uh, move the kill box back and also probably deal with this rather gaping security hole that we've got going on here. Which is, people attacking the kill box are going to have access to our goddamn ammo room. So let's deal with that before we do anything else. But the kill box still is functional if we take this wall out. So if we do get a sudden raid, it's not a massive, massive problem. This is nice, though. Plumbing's not quite done yet in the prison. Floors are done. They just need actually, you know, something to do. There's also a gun on the floor. Who's... Whose gun is this? No one's. Okay, Piccolo, you get that gun because you're shit at shooting, but also has a shit gun, which I feel like is just a combination of terrible. I'd rather equal it out a little bit. Oh, of course, Jump needs his uh, Jump needs his schedule setting back up after we uh, uh, killed him, trying to fix him. You know, it's understandable, really. Uh, I don't really want him to have this much time off, or this much time on, I should say. When, when is he not supposed to be awake? Hang on. Let, let's do it that way. That's a bit better. Right, so you can work up to 6 a.m. Then the sun starts coming up. So we'll have you sleep for, like, there. Uh, hang on. Sleep until there. That gives him 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's giving him like 9 hours of sleep, though. How long do vampires sleep for? That's okay. And then we'll, we'll do something like that. So he's getting recreation just as the sun's going down. So he won't be outside, in theory. Um, or there is inside recreation, I should say. So let's also switch Piccola over as well, while I remember. Because you are... Just garbage right now. Medic. We'll just edit the medic build because obviously he's the only one that's ever going to have that. And we're using uh, SVS, was it? SVD, that's it. And then any armor-piercing ammo. And we'll just give him 100 of those. Nice. Okay, that should work. And Piccolo, come and grab this man. Thank you. Okay. You can't because it's, it's daytime. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Unfortunately, we're going to get a lot of botched construction here because I'm having to get garbage characters to build because, of course, whenever Jilp tries to build, the game crashes. So it's, it's not exactly fantastic when you're trying to build a goddamn prison and uh, you can't build the goddamn prison. I am going to set Jilp back on construction in the hopes that maybe now it's working fine. I very much doubt it is. We'll, we'll fucking find out in a second. Um, having a bath. Okay, we'll let him have his bath. This is his recreation time, I guess. And then we'll see if it ruins everything. Deconstruction is fine. Deconstructing my walls absolutely shouldn't cause this problem at all. It's whenever uh, this shit starts. Oh, you know what? It's better than it was. I can't complain. We're at least getting more than one frame every 30 minutes now. And of course, there's not really much more to do either. We could have been getting a bit more wood. Because we've got like, you know, missing doors. We're obviously missing a little bit of the plumbing here as well. That classic wooden plumbing. Um, let's get this all chopped down. It's not going to give us much, but it'll give us what we need, I think. All right, and then we've got plenty of trees growing in the middle as well. One thing I actually didn't really think about is because we've got roofs being built everywhere, it's corralling all the trees that can possibly grow into this much smaller area. So I guess we're kind of getting a bit more dense wood production. Not that it makes much difference at all. Laying some tiles. Of course, we're going for only the most important things, Jilp's Castle Walkway. People were asking why I was laying tiles in the quarry. It does actually give a beauty bonus, as you can see right here. For each one of these we're removing, we are actually gaining a bit more beauty back. When they're spending all the time working in the quarry, it does add a little bit of difference there. My god, Demonetize level 17 and intellectual now. And to say that the game crashes whenever we get our only good builder to build, I feel like we've done a good job of building to help. My god, how many people are turning up? Look, we've got our friend Hippo. We've got our friend Toby. Um, what are they a trader of again? Pirate merchants. So they probably have some slaves in that case. Let's see what they've got. And by slaves, I obviously mean, you know, prisoners that we're going to rehabilitate and all that shit. What is that? Also, what I didn't notice is their gigantic woolly mammoth that they've taken conveniently right into our kill box. Hmm. Right now, it's a friendly trade box. Depending on what they've got and depending on if we can afford it, it might stop being a friendly trade box if, you, if, you, if you're catching my, catching my drift. Um, who's our best social guy? We've got no social guy either now, huh? Um... Sort by, I guess, Warden. Uh, demonetized. Congratulations, Demonetized. You are now, if we go over to his badge, change the mining one to social. Welcome aboard. I guess we, we guess we will go for that one, huh? Right, go and trade with Van Drail and see what he's got. Van Drill, I think it is. Right, okay. We've got Stark Blaster. Oh, wait, are these ones we can sell them or they're the ones that they can sell to us? Uh, so, yeah, we've got Stark, Rabbi, and Blackthorn. We could buy Toby. Uh, what's Toby like? Uh, based on human unmodified, yeah, blah, 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 blah. What, what are his skills? Actually not bad. Actually not terrible at all. Good artistic, kind of okay shooting as well. Let's take a look at, uh, Toby next. Toby, you are the, the same one I think we just looked at. What are you? Um, oh god, this guy is fucking terrible. Oh my god, he's so bad. I've never seen someone that bad. Test subject and then he grew up to be a ranch owner, so he's only good at animals and shooting. 
Yippee ki yay. That's, that's a cool backstory, though. Um, do we want to buy anything from them? I mean, we can sell them some Gojus, because somebody literally did just overdose on some Gojus. It wasn't major or anything, which is why I didn't bother mentioning, but it's uh, kind of a pain in the ass to just have it lying around. Sell them all the garbage ammo as well, so sell them this crappy machine gun ammo. We'll sell them the hollow point ammo as well, just because they're not doing anything. We'll keep the mortar shells this time around, though. It's something I wouldn't normally do, but we will. And I'm going to buy their two medicine there. Buy some Spectacle Teal, like Paradine for... Oh, it's expensive. Now, it's okay. We'll, we'll just take the uh, 177 silver. They're not worth turning the friendly, friendly trade box into a kill box, huh? I mean, in certain other situations, I mean, we could capture them and obviously strip them as well. They've got some powerful guns. I mean, charge rifles, they've got like LMGs there, Liam Field, what have we got? Uh, machine gun. Yeah, I don't think this is a good idea. They definitely seem to outgun us, especially when we've got sniper rifles and they're going to be all of about two foot away. Now, what I may start researching is, as I said before, I'm kind of sick of the ghouls. They're kind of a pain in the ass to micromanage. We constantly have, like, mental breakdowns and stuff. What I'm thinking for the future is, let's start researching prosthetics. Not only are the ghouls garbage, and I'm kind of happy to, you know, stop having ghouls and instead have biomechanical monsters. But we also lost a lot of limbs to frostbite. Uh, so, I mean, this guy is obviously screwed, so we'll have to try and fix his brain at some stage. Alucard is missing a jaw, so it takes him ages to eat. We've got, um, there's the guy with the, uh, with the Gojuice, uh, what was it, overdose that he had there. Could do with a new lung as well, and then, of course, Alucard, or, or sorry, Piccolo there, needs, needs some sort of brain fixing. Needs two bionic ears, needs some fixes to his kidneys as well. Like, there's a lot going on here that, that we could do with... Maybe getting some bionics on the case. And like I said, we could potentially have also ghoul guards that are biomechanical. I mean, that'd be kind of cool. But either way, biomechanical is better than nothing. And then we also would need to micromanage all the freaking guards as well. Probably not a bad plan. Very annoying that a couple of our prisoners, or the super prisoners we've got, are both uh, shit demons and actually can't do anything to help out with the uh, with the maintenance of food. Only because these guys just happen to be garbage. Normally, they'd be able to, you know, harvest crops. But in this case, uh, no such luck, huh? So this prison is basically determined by the the temperature of the outdoors. Like I said before, I mean, maybe a Skylight mod wouldn't be such a bad idea so they can actually have an outdoor area. I may just roof over this. Otherwise, in the winter, they're just going to fucking freeze, huh? Um, so I might replace this and then, you know, we'll have to vent the heat out some other way. Yeah, there is really another way of doing that. Because we didn't have this, like a big rec area like chess tables or just lots of different types of recreation. Oh, God. Corp researcher, hopefully not Gene Court, named Dietrich calls you from nearby is being chased by pirates of the Unrest Band. Uh, one drifter, one elite mercenary, two heavy mercenaries, one mercenary gunner, one mercenary sniper, one pirate gunner. Nah. Goodbye, Dietrich. Thank you for your uh, assistance there. By which I mean, I hope you didn't die too painfully. Thank you for watching. We're going to leave this one here for today. This has been a very weird episode. Like, we got a lot of building done and a lot of extra planning done. And... Kind of not a lot else, though. We had a lot of mental breakdowns, that type of thing. But a lot of micromanagement is dealt with. I'm going to start working on that fix for Jill. But I think it might be, like I said, a case of save game editing. And uh, completely resetting him. And then starting again as like a level one of the, whatever they were called, Pajimini. I don't remember. Uh, Bloodline instead. In the meantime, don't forget to throw me your vampire names if you have not done so already over on the Patreon Discord. And then when I've... I'll, I'll give it a couple more episodes. After that, I'm going to open it up to the floor. I think it'd be cool if we could have the YouTube commenters named after the prisoners. And then the uh, the guards, the ghouls, the vampires named after the patrons. Because that's just how you are. That's just how you are in the packing order, I'm afraid. Let's give a shout out to Alpha Scarf, Asuna Kuroto, Atmosis, Austin Gauthier, Average Gamer 419, Bacon Kitten, Blurry Bunny, Sedini, Crazy Pack, Croesus, Donald, Escape for Kuno Vasquez, Fungus King, Gogolus, Harik, Haydog, Jimbo, Josh Lindine, Tesla, Justin Wallace, Caden Carter, Michael Mullen, Mr. Smug, Muskratful, Nathan Flores, Necrofilm, Pelvis Presley, Surthal the Swede, Stannis the Manus, Toby Cruz, Tom Terry 18, Tyler Kendall, Vacuous Backus, and Zazzy1711 for their support, the Insanity Levels on Patreon. Thank you for making this channel possible. Thank you for making this series possible. Hope you guys are enjoying it Vampire Prison. I apologize about this episode being quite slow, but of course, what else can I do besides crash every tile that's being bloody placed, huh? Hopefully we'll fix that for next time and they can really blitz along and get a nice, decent amount of progress. And a shout out, of course, to Andrew Wilson, Arachnid44, Ben Troke, Betamus Max, Better Valerian, Chris, David Van Diepen, Don, Don Connie 2 and 7, Frederick Brennan, Gabriel Faulkner, Gabriel Van Ders, Gaz, GDWK Run, Gray, Haju Damar, Hancock, Ice, Walu Kamei, I see the great Israel, Jay Lara, James Barnes, Jose, Yoran DeVries, Jessica Smith, John Holiday, Johnny No, Jordan Campbell, Joseph Beard, Justin Plot, Justin Walters, Lismi, Llewellyn Thomas, Luke Wallace, Matthew, Monty, Nathaniel Lindbergh, Nick, Noah Gallimore, Pan Samu, Panther Pearl, Peyton Denisar, Russian Oligarch, Billionaire, Shari, Smirtworm, The Insane Pickle, Will Wade, Wolfie, Zico, and I'm pretty sure my list was cut off. So a shout out as well to Asaro, Adam Person, Akari, and Andrew Wilson. 
thank you all for your support. See you guys tomorrow with hopefully a fix, which, you know, actually might affect some of you.